Okay guys, this is me trying to do this one-handed. It was going really well. Um, this is a manduka moth, a very small kind of feeble one that was that emerged early. And then I had another one emerge. And I'm gonna go through this in stages, but I wanted to capture this moment for, um, well, you know who you are. <laughs> one of the viewers had asked, how do you hold, uh, how do you hand feed? Well, normally um, I have both hands. So kind of doing this a little bit lopsided, but, and I'm gonna go through this in stages, but this is a very small manduka moth um, I'll show you the other one that emerged uh, from its chrysalis and it came about five days after this one. So this one's a little bit old. I don't think they're going to mate. I do believe I have a boy and a girl, a male and a female, um, because of the size difference. So, um, but this one I'm just being kind to, trying to get it to uh, drink nectar. Sometimes they last um, just a few days and sometimes they last for weeks. It's really a crapshoot and it's nothing you've done wrong unless you didn't feed them, of course. Um, but with some nectar every day, they do really, really well. And um, But they, they also need uh, room to kind of fly around and you'll see them hook up, literally. Um, and sometimes you don't see them hook up and you wake up in the morning and there's eggs everywhere. So. Anyway, I'm going to go through all of that with you, but since someone had asked, how do you hold it? Well, I'm not doing a great job of it right now, but basically, when you have to hand feed your uh, manduka moth, um, and I don't even know if I'm screaming into the mic, so I'm sorry. Um, when you have to hand feed your manduka moth, um, which some of them do require, I can't explain it. Some wake up a little... Um, they just need a little help and others find the nectar right away. So you just got to monitor, monitor them. Um, anyway, and sometimes I think they learn from each other, but, um, this is a poor video and I apologize. Um, but basically I'm holding its wings. Otherwise its instincts are to fly while it's of course drinking nectar. Um, the proboscis is underneath the chin area basically and it's coiled up and what you want to do very very gently is you want to unfold it it will not unfold um right away you have to be very gentle i tend to kind of unfold it and lay it in the very luke lukewarm uh, nectar that i prepare and um the i'll go over the recipe of the nectar it's basically sugar lots of sugar and some flavoring and uh, make sure it's uh, got some electrolytes in it. But basically, um, um, you un unfoil, uncoil the, um, you uncoil the um, proboscis and you have to do that a few times and then you'll see it start pumping. You can see the pumping action. Um, and when it does that, it means it's drinking. Now this one had a great, like I, I tend to hold it over the um, nectar. Some people just set it down and put a puddle of nectar in there, but I've never had any success just leaving them alone. I always have to kind of guide them. And um, they drink for a solid on and off, like five minutes. So get comfortable, because it takes a minute. And you're, the whole time their instincts are to um, move their wings um, because that would be the normal action. They would be flying and, and unrolling the proboscis in the, in the flower, so, or the nectar, which, whichever. I mean, wherever, whatever they're getting their nectar from. Um, <clears throat> so that's it in a nutshell. This one is not very big. Um, I'll show you the other one. And you can see its wings are a little... Um, it kind of came out like this. Sometimes they come out and they look like, literally, I think they're so precious. They look like um, little mice, furry little mice. And they've got incredible beauty to them. So it's just a fun, uh, it's a fun, fun thing to do. And you save a lot of money if you can get it down to a science. So anyway... I'll be in touch with everyone. I'll keep posting videos. This was just one of those moments where I said, oh my God, I've, I've got to get this on tape at least. And um, 
And then of course, as soon as I turned the cell on, it wasn't really, it was kind of finished drinking. So anyway, you can't see the real beauty right now. It just looks like a locust, but it, it really, I'm holding the wings shut so it doesn't fly out of my hand. All right, if you like what you see, say hi. Say hi. See how they're so, they look like, I don't know. They're really cute. Uh-oh, he knows I'm filming. He or she. Are you filming me? Are you filming me? Yes, I am. Anyway, if you like what you see, stay tuned. You can do this. You can breed your hornworms, okay? It just, it's a lot of trial and error, but you can do it. Say bye-bye. <laughs> okay, hit subscribe, hit like. Show a little love, and I'll try to get back to everyone. Uh, I'm, a, I'm really slow at getting back to people, but it's just because I have so much going on, right? I have so many babies to take care of. Okay, have a great day. Remember, God is great, and we'll talk to you soon.